There's a freaking rocket here somewhere. Oh, there it is. What do I want that thing? I don't want the hurricane. Oh crap, they're spawning over the right. I'm too late. Eh. I think I got a combo of that somehow. There you go! Commander, firewall's down. I'm in. Biotic explosions for the win. That's one of the reasons I wanted to do this uh, as a biotic, because I knew... <laughs> especially Mass Effect 3. Explosions would, um, would really help out. Oh god, he's going to do Captain Cool now. Yeah, 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 go, 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 go kill yourself, man. He's not happy. What's he gonna do? Sacrifice himself for the many? I'm not even sure why he pulled that shit from. Lieutenant! Victory. At any cost. Any reason he was gonna let go? Oh, that's the bomb. That's, that's not a small bomb. Or is that the bomb? I have no idea what I'm looking at. We just let the bomb drop. I guess that thing at the top was a detonator or something? Or a big Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. Well, even Joker knows not when to make jokes. He never Good hesitated. Man. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. What will the Turians think about this, Garrus? Hard to say. Sacrifice and more is expected. He did us proud, but we're a hard bunch to please. <laughs> Living your life for the cause. Society first, the tune first. It's all just expected. <laughs> he did what he had to do when it counted. Yes. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Well, this ought to be fun. Good work on T'Chunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb. They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. <laughs> Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We yeah. don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Pack it out. Uh. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey! Diplomatic Shepherd. You're both wrong. The Reapers were out there destroying the galaxy, and you want to fight about this? Ooh. Primark, you had a bomb on Tachanka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. His own son died today, making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. 
Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. <laughs> we do. <laughs> I understand your reservations before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. Not really. You kept this a secret and then put your son in charge? He couldn't handle it. Yes. You're right, Commander. It was a mistake not to trust you. I know that now. <laughs> I'm still a bit pissed off, apparently, it's pretending to be. I think it's a bit of conflict. My son. He died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. <laughs> the sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Where are you, Joe? Yes, sir. And now he's sitting over here again. Perfect. What's up? I'm gonna talk to you. So, question is, should I bat head back to the Citadel real quick? Yes, they are. I heard what Victor's did. He was a brave man. Did you know? I don't think I could. Uh, there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do that. But? But I was wrong. Being here watching you, you've shown me what it means to serve in the Alliance. Hmm. <laughs> Good officer. Friend. Zooming in. Glad you finally realize it. Thanks. And not that I'm volunteering for bomb jump duty. I'd suggest sending someone who has armor first, if possible. I'm glad you're making me a joke about it. Uh, all right, here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Solarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog, and the Solarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous! The Krogan says, You think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself! The implication being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. <sighs> yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes <laughs> on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. <laughs> What's new? True that. Admiral Anderson reports that the Reapers on Earth are broadcasting orders. They are demanding human leaders enter their superstructures in order to negotiate peace. Anybody aboard a Reaper is going to be indoctrinated. Exactly. This is a ruse to pacify the populace during that process. Citizens who are busy waiting are not busy fighting. It is likely that the governments of Earth will soon enact laws punishing those who attack the Reaper occupiers. Again, this will be done in the name of peace. Tell Anderson we're moving as fast as we can. You gotta love the Turians. After they beat you down and sterilize you, they strap a big old bomb to your planet. You know, just in case you get uppity again someday. I'm just glad we disarmed it. Sort of. I don't, I don't particularly. Commander. What? What do you want? I don't, don't want to talk to you. So. Let's see uh, if I picked up anything on that planet. Say that again? population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. God, his wow. and their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you. I've never seen Krogan move with such purpose. It's a little terrifying. The Krogan are gearing up for a full-scale war. 
It's nearly indistinguishable from how they normally operate on Tachanka, really. <laughs> oh, that, that's 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 great to know. All right, let's see if Garrus is anything interesting. Just as much in the dark as you, honest. <laughs> That's what I needed to hear. Just making you sweat, Garrus. Wasn't sure you could. You're always so calm. I'd be happy to give Krogan some lessons on relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd be happy to feed you to a thresher maw. Rick's out. And next time, Shepard, don't let him near the intercom. <laughs> I, guess I don't not. know what Turian came up with the idea, but a doomsday bomb was damned ingenious. Embarrassing now, but ingenious back then. I'm glad Rex is taking this so well. My people haven't exactly treated his kind with charity over the years. <laughs> That's an understatement. Oh well, let's go. And, um, hmm. Those two were almost fun. Not sure what to think about that little mech dog roaming the ship. You mean Sophie? I think she's cute. What purpose does she serve? I guess I have a soft spot for worthless dogs. Look how long I've been with you. Ouch. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Your people would have made a good addition to our empire, Durian. You are cunning. Uh -huh. And by addition, you mean slave race. <laughs> Subservient race. Right. Calling it that makes all the difference. But you did not go far enough. Either you should have detonated the bomb on the Krogan world, or used it as leverage. I think we were just trying to guarantee peace. A static mode of existence. Nothing changes. Nothing struggles. Nothing grows. On the upside, we all get to live another day. Nice chatting. <laughs> there is some enjoyment in speaking to this Turian. His knowledge of war is formidable. Though he would be an even better marksman if he had four eyes. I am not sure. There's only one scope. You can watch the four eyes through a scope unless you got that Gishok rifle, then you get only need two. And again, it's all about how you use them. If you'll use them in the same direction, it doesn't really leave, doesn't really add much of anything. I think. So, cure the genophage. Uh, I think I've done everything here. Do I want to go back here yet? No, let's just go straight into the mission. Why not? Why the fuck not? Alright, Kuro the Genophage, Tuchanka, the final mission left here, and which is actually the, uh, the mission here. Two point one billion people still. Stop. Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're gonna be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye aye, sir. That was quick. New form of Reaper, Shepard. Using Shroud to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. Problematic. They want to fight! They just got one. Primark, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. We're doing this for Palavin. No one said it would be easy. What do you have in mind? Hmm. A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. 
Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Hmm. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud facility. Finish synthesizing cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. Why? Then it's now or never. Now. The genophage ends today. <laughs> Commander, incoming message marked urgent. I'll put it in the common for you. Dalatrus? Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Morden Solus has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow the diplomatic pressures of this war to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the Genophage will end in lasting peace? We have to give the Krogan that chance. 